Hey guys, I got something new. No, it's not the FNC because I already that's coming on another video, but I just got my tax stamp for my Gemtech Halo. Now, the Gemtech Halo is a pretty cool suppressor because this is supposed to be a universal mount. Most suppressors, like the AAC, you know, Silence of Code, they all require their own special flash hiders or very specific flash hider. Now, this, the Gemtech Halo is uh, contracted by the government, so Gemtech made it so it will fit on any. Well, now I wouldn't, I shouldn't say any because we're gonna, we're gonna. Uh, we're, we're gonna test that later. It will fit. Uh, it should fit on most NATO spec uh, flash hider, like the AR-15 A1 or A2 flash hider. They'll fit on it. This will fit on it and work without any special adapters. Now, so it's pretty simple. You just unscrew this. It's two parts. Now, this actually couples onto the flash hider, and then you screw this on, and the flash hider will sit against this uh, end. And as you as you screw it in, it's gonna tighten and hold it there. Let me show you. So here I've got an Colt uh, A1 style AR-15. You know, as you can see, you take this, you couple it over onto the rib or the ridges, whatever groove cut they call it. Slide it over. Now any this should work on any flash hider with a groove like this, and that is 22 millimeters. Should work with the Halo. So a lot of like the Vortex ones will work as well and that's pretty simple. Now the nice part is you can rotate this freely any direction so you can have the trademark showing anywhere you want. It's you know a cool a little cool feature. Again it's not a very special suppressor. Lots of people have it. They've had they've had this out for a long time and um uh, a lot there's a lot of different versions of it out too I think there's the old Halo and the new Halo but more or less the point is it works on any Nate it works on any uh, AR AR15 style flash headers. Now, uh, Gemtech on their website explicitly said that it will work with all NATO, well, all NATO flash hiders, uh, and they actually name out the FNC. Now I'm here to show you that while it does fit on it snugly and perfectly, unfortunately the grooves aren't cut deep enough to let the, let the you can't see you can't fit it. It's just not possible, and. You, you can't put it all the way down because then it's not deep enough to engage the thread. So, well, so uh, what the heck, Gemtech? You lied to me. You lied to me. I demand a refund, but I don't want to wait another six months. Um. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much just a short video. It's just I'm just disappointed that it doesn't work on the FNC. Now I have heard it does work on some FNCs, so I don't know. Cause I mean, this is made in Belgium, so this is like the correct FNC. So I don't know, I don't know what Gemtech was thinking. Anyways, we're gonna put some rounds down with it on my A1. Just screw this in, quite simple. Uh, there's a funny story while I'm, t while I'm doing this, telling you this. Uh, so apparently, uh, I, I heard this from an acquaintance of mine. So when they first started issuing the Halo out to, this is more of a grunt, you know, heavy duty grunt suppressor meant for your regular infantry man, you know, maybe squad leaders, whatever. But when they first started issuing them out in uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, suppressors were new, you know, people weren't aware of them. So there's a lot of incidents where, you know, a convoy will come under an ambush and, you know, the soldiers will return fire, full auto, or, you know, three round bursts. There's lots of mag dump, you know, to get out of a sticky situation. And if you ever shot a suppressor, then you know it gets really hot very, very fast, but because they're not aware of it or used to it, they will put it back on their weapon rack in their Humvee and it would actually melt the seat or catch fire. So, you know, that at least that's what I heard. So, could be wrong, but, you know, I heard it from a somewhat reliable acquaintance. Anyways, got it all set up, make sure it's nice and snug, and, uh, oh, one last thing, make sure if you're using it, make sure it is a peel or just a regular, you know, just smooth flush washer, a, um, Split washer or a crush washer will not. Well, they say it won't work, and you probably shouldn't try it because the apparently crush washers don't seat perfect, don't crush perfectly uniform. So if it's just slightly off, there's a possibility you could get a baffle strike. Now, from what I hear from also people, you know, that serve, uh, they still use crush washers. So I guess you know the army doesn't really care. But you know, I, but for you, for the average Joe like you and me. Um, probably a good idea to swap your uh, washers out for the Gym Tech approved ones. Anyways, uh, gonna put a few rounds out. Not really, eh, no target. 
But uh, it does, I have to admit, uh, any Call of Duty fans, this straight up reminds me of Call of Duty Black Ops 1. M16A1, suppressor. Let's turn this on. I was like, where'd you go? <laughs> Sleight of hand. Yeah. Oh, wow. Dang. Anyway, so not a, not a lot of rounds because, you know, um, I just got it. So we'll probably do a more in-depth shooting or, you know, more with more suppressors, maybe compared to another suppressor. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool thing and I'm glad I got it. At first I wasn't too keen on getting it and then somebody, you know, kind of like taunted his suppressor all over the place and, you know, made me all jelly. But yeah, I'm glad I got it, and uh, it's I can't wait to shoot it more, basically. And uh, but and I really do want to, you know, try this on a lot of other guns like FS2000, FNC, you know, maybe a maybe an AR15 carbine. But yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah, Black Ops. Slide of hand!